While the headlines are all about Tamil Nadu building sovereign AI, Karnataka has decided to change the game. And that too without any press releases filled with jargon and buzzwords. But, on the other hand, with actual machinery on the ground. Karnataka has officially deployed India's first ever commercial quantum computer. Congratulations. It's sitting right now at Triple IT Dharwad, marking this moment as a transition from talking about quantum to running quantum loops on Indian soil. The world as we know it is locked in a hardware war. The United States has IBM, China has Origin. And now we can say very proudly that Karnataka has QPI AI. And front page as you know, because well, you have been watching us regularly, has been covering uh, QPI AI in depth. We covered the Indus, that's the 25 qubit superconducting beast, the Qvidya, which is the 8 qubit teacher, and the Kaveri, the 64 qubit heavy hitter. This announcement, well, came from Minister Priyank Kharge. And it is significant because what this really means is that Karnataka now joins a very short list outside the United States, China, and Europe with an operational, homegrown, mind you, quantum computer built right here by a domestic deep tech company. Although, while we celebrate, let us take a moment to reflect and ask ourselves. A computer at IIIT Dharwar is great, absolutely. But is it useful? QPI AI is betting on an aggressive timeline. They go from 25 qubits to 64 to 128 this year. So by 2029, they are targeting 1000 qubits. And that number is very important because at, well, 100 logical qubits, the so-called toy becomes a weapon. As it is the threshold for commercial quantum advantage. As this is where we actually stop stimulating molecules for fun and start discovering drugs that actually cure diseases. The point where cryptography breaks. Cupa AI says they have the cryogenic lab, the well, the dilution refrigerators and the control stack, which means that by now they have to deliver. Hardware, unfortunately, is useless without the brains and this is why. Because if we have examined this a little deeply, we realize that we are seeing the picture partially. Let me explain it with a reference. It is like saying that we can build the fastest car in the world, but it actually remains useless if none of us know how to drive it. Which means the hardware alone doesn't build a quantum nation. We need the bodies. Enter Visva Varya Technological University, VTU, and they are mobilizing. They have tied up with QNU labs, defining their goal as a quantum communication lab at the incubation center in Bengaluru. The scale this gives is actually what is central to this conversation because of giving hands-on access to over 4 lakh engineering students across 200 colleges, minor degrees in quantum technology, master's programs in the pipeline which directly strengthens the national quantum mission, the military and the Vision 2047 roadmap. Sunil Gupta at QNU Labs told us, you have to create the ecosystem before you need it. So now for the macro view. QPI AI is handling the chips. VTU is handling the brains. But where does it all converge? Karnataka. And the state isn't just stopping at a lab in Dharwar. It is building a city, India's first dedicated quantum city, located in Hezaraghatta. The government approved 6.17 acres for a full-stack quantum hub. Fabrication units, incubation centers, a high-performance data center designed strictly for quantum workloads. They are, of course, pledging 1,000 crore rupees. The goal? is to become a $20 billion quantum economy by 2035 with venture capital funds, 150 PhD fellowships. 
they are of course trying to turn Bengaluru from the back office of the world into the quantum capital of the East, academia, industry, government. The race is on and Karnataka just took the lead. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM Network. And always remember, think AI, think quantum, think AIM. Thank you.